Hey everybody, this is Joe in uh, the channel called Joe Fixes It. Today I'm going to be mowing the grass in my yard over at my house. But before I do that, the first thing I do is I have a sort of a pre-mowing checklist I do on my mower. This includes checking the oil, uh, greasing some of the high uh, impact parts of the uh, mower because they do have grease fittings. You are supposed to lubricate them. I usually knock the crud off of the air filter and uh, kind of kick the tires and make sure I don't have any flat tires because you can get those running over objects in the lawn and not even know it. Uh, with this mower, I actually put uh, slime in all my tires so they'll self-seal. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to check the oil. I always check the oil before you start your mower up and get going. Um, first you pull your dipstick out, wipe the oil off of it, insert it in. Do not twist it down and tighten it. You want it right where the threads begin and pull it out and check it. It's right on the full mark. It's perfect. And if you were watching my videos, you know that I just changed the oil in this, so it's going to be fine. That is a must. Checking the oil. I like to knock the junk off the air cleaner, check the air filter out, and make sure it's not completely loaded up from the last time because when I finished cutting the last time, I wasn't in the mood to mess with my mower, so I just put it away. This is the air filter housing, and it just comes off with quick disconnects. The cover comes right off, and here's your air filtering. It has a lot of dust on it, so we'll just take it off and clean it up. See, it comes off just like that. You can about take an air hose, dust out of there. If you're any sort of a serious yard maintenance hobbyist, you got to have compressed air. If you don't, I just don't know what to say for you. I'll take this off. I usually like to blow the dust off the element put the foam rubber thing back on it. We'll go ahead and uh, put it back in. Got a thumb screw to tighten it back down. Put our quick connect tabs back on. And we have checked our air cleaner. Next order of business is we're gonna check the tire pressure. I usually don't check that every time. I usually go by and just kick the tires and make sure there's not one grossly soft in the rest. I run these tires very underinflated, even on the sulky tires I do, because it seems to add stability when you're going over rough terrain and it doesn't beat your ankles to death when you're doing a big yard. Five PSI, it's actually about right. Done. And finally, the last thing I usually do is I like to take my grease gun and hit some of the high wear areas on the mower. Mind you, this is not a complete loop. I like to get put some grease in here. You want your grease to come squirt now. You can pick up a grease gun at your near, nearby auto parts store. If you're going to be running one of these mowers, it is a must. Like I say, these wheels take a pretty, pretty serious beating. These I don't worry so much about, but I haven't greased them in a while, so we're going to hit give, give them a good squirt. We'll give this guy a little squirt while I'm at it. As I'm sure some of you guys out there, you yard care professionals, are going to notice that I didn't hit all the points. Uh, mostly I just like to hit just all the easy uh, spots to hit. This is just my kind of pre-flight uh, checklist I go before I take my mower out and use it. We've checked our oil, we blew the dust off our air cleaner, we did some basic greasing, checked the air pressure on the tires. Usually I just kick them, but I checked them because actually I haven't checked them all year. So. Let's get this thing loaded up on our trailer. I wanna thank you for taking time to watch this video. Please subscribe to the channel. There are gonna be many more videos to come. I really like doing the X Mark videos, although I have to work on my Mark II Volkswagen diesels. So y'all take care, be careful out there cutting grass, and keep your mower maintained because they are a great piece of equipment, especially the X Mark Metro. We'll see you on the next video. Pseudo yard professionals.